Hey everybody, it's Stone here and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we ran Bowser out of his own kingdom and destroyed the Brutals in a battle with their giant mecha war machine. It was a battle for the ages. Bowser and Peach ran off to the moon. The actual moon. And we are supposed to chase after them. But this episode, I want to take the time to collect the remainder of the purple coins and the moons here. It must be done, I promise. I want to use this shortcut, okay. I realize we've collected enough power moons, Cappy, but we can't yet. We just can't go on just yet. Um, down here, looks like there are three purple coins. Lots of stuff has opened up now that uh, we have done the story stuff here. Um, I believe there's something for us to do. Hold on. So down here, uh, where the uh, seed is, we actually need to drop down and grab this Pokio. And drop down onto this wall. And maneuver over to this moving wall. And ta-da! Moon right here. So up here at this poison area beneath the keep, um, a Lakitu has appeared here. Wait, what did he say? What just happened? And back to it. It's time for fishing. <laughs> I like that Lakitu is pretty cool in this game. Um, leave. You can, yes, you can float all the way across the poison swamp here. Under this archway, grab these three purple coins. Okay, so over here in this in this corner, if you bring like to all the way across here, you can capture this catapult and it'll throw you up top here to three purple coins. And... Some Bowser statues. Neither of the horns are glowing, so I don't want to throw Cappy onto them. Um, but I do want to hit this. Destroying pretty architecture. That's what it's all about. Knocking down the nice frame. And I think I just want to come over here and grab this moon. Love the poison swamp. And for the next moon, I wanted to come back to the Odyssey, surprisingly enough. And right by it, there's actually a Bowser statue. Um, hmm. Not this one. Hold on. It's, yes, this one, facing the wrong direction. And if you hold Cappy on it, it spits flames. And poops out a moon. Caught on the iron fence. Next, I want to come up to the beneath the keep warp point and take the electrical wire up here. And there's actually ooh, two bunnies to catch. These are very, very obnoxious. I don't actually, I don't even know if they both give moons. It may, may only be, yeah, it may only be one of them. God, I can't speak. Keeping up with it. Okay. He's hiding. Okay, he almost caused me to commit suicide. There we go, come here, you. Okay, he's got a moon. Does the other one have a moon is the question. Caught hopping at Bowser's castle. Do you have a moon too? That would be interesting. There were two bunny moons. I think one of them, I think this one probably does not. Since the other one did. Whoa, you can't just switch directions on me like that. Ooh, 
What? He jumped out of the way so quick. There we go. Okay, yeah, he just has a coin. All right. Um, what I really wanted to do up here, though, uh, was turn around on this big thing and let's see, where is it? I'm gonna jump down onto the giant Bowser statue and ground pound the nose. On the giant Bowser statue's nose. Wow, thank you for the very apt description there. Um, this kind of reminds me of climbing on the, uh, the Satoru, Satoru Marsh statue uh, in Xenoblade. Hmm. Okay, whoa, okay. Wait, can you actually jump on those? Oh, there's three purple coins on the other side. You can jump on them. I knew, I knew that it'd be a good place to hide stuff. They actually stop moving, it looks like, if you get close to them. That's good. Okay. 88. If I can grab this one without falling off. Awesome. And I just need a long jump back over to the Bowser statue. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And let's go back up top. Okay, next I want to head over to where the uh, the Brutals fight took place. There's a new warp point here called Showdown Arena. And there's actually a timer challenge that can be found here. Pretty simple. I meant to dive the other way. Ow, I'm not making it. I'm not making it. I'm not making it. Yeah, okay. Let's try that one again. That was very, very poorly executed. Okay, Mario. That was also... Ah, I just... What is wrong with me? Okay, this isn't even... This is hopeless. I'm choking. Come on. I need to time my jumps correctly to be optimal. Stop diving that way! I'm trying to dive the other way. Can't you do that without throwing Cappy? Right? Oh, no, you can only dive at, like, 90 degrees. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I won't try that this time. Let's jump. Climb. Oh, careful. Grab it. Bowser Kingdom Timer Challenge 1. Okay, for the next moon, you want to capture this Pokio and come up to the this wall here and drop down to the side of it. Oh! Okay. Oh, I almost made it in the water! That was very... That was poorly judged. Okay, let's try this again. Come here, Pokio. Come here. Let's go to this wall, not be overzealous, actually judge our jumps, so don't drop right there. Okay, jump in here, and there is a moon, hidden corridor under the floor. Okay, I want to come over here and capture this Lakitu again. Because where there is a fisherman, there are fish. Probably usually the other way around, but... Come here, you! It's Poochie! <laughs> Fishing? Question mark in Bowser's castle. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Wait, what's in this pipe? What is in this pipe? I don't remember this being here. Oh, this is the shortcut. Okay, okay. Okay, so next you want to come up here to beneath the keep again. Drop through these golden coin rings. And take this catapult. It's going to launch us all the way over here. And there are three purple coins that we can get to by jumping on this ledge. And just throwing Cappy at them. No, other way. Thank you. 91 now. 
Awesome. Got some coins here too, it looks like. Okay, I figured that'd be a multi-coin block, so I was standing back to be able to hold Cappy. Uh, we're gonna want to capture this Pokio. And... <clears throat> we can take out all these spinies. You don't really have to, but it makes it a bit easier. More satisfying, for sure. Make our way up this wall. There's three more purple coins. Wow, already at 94. Up, up here. And to the very top. And I think... There's something around this way, obviously. Oh, it's just... Okay, way to get back down. Um, alright. We can go in... This door. Right here. We have a hidden treasure room! With a moon and a lot of coins. You're gonna wanna collect all these for sure. Dang, that is a lot of coins. <laughs> I'm up to 5,600 now. Wow. Gladly take that. Even though we haven't seen much use out of them yet, you're still gonna wanna be saving coins as much as possible. Next, we want to go back to Beneath the Keep again. And the area that we've been continually going to that has the uh, Poison Swamp and the Ogre right down here. You want to actually... Ooh! You want to actually kill the Ogre. And when you do that, that big door we saw earlier will open up. We can go on inside here. And we can see, we can already see a power moon up top. Um, obviously I want to look up here, grab these coins. Got one of these puzzle rooms. Haven't seen, I just realized we haven't seen any hat doors in this kingdom. I guess there are no hat doors. Huh, that's interesting. Makes sense though. Which where it's a place where Crazy Cat probably has the least amount of influence. Um, all right, so we have this spinning tower to make our way up, and I feel like this is a perfect place to hide purple coins. So I'm gonna be very wary of that. Actually, Ooh. that was close. There's a hidden key down here. You grab it. Another power moon will appear at the top. Okay, definitely don't want to miss that. Come here, you. Go ahead and make our way back up this very thin pathway. Goodness gracious. Where's the spinning one? I know they could put purple coins on any side of this, so I'm just being careful and watching all four sides. One more spin, I think. Okay, yeah, they don't have any. No purple coins back there. Um, God, it could be the same for this, though, too. Not taking any chances. Oh, God. Please don't fall. Okay, you, then you, and then... Ugh. There. No! No! It knocked me back down! I was close to falling all the way. Come on. More. You. Then you. Then. I was about to take that chance. No! No! What? It knocked me down again! I guess it makes sense, but I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Give me. You, you, oh god, no. These are so abstractly shaped. How do you get to the center of this? Oh, okay, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Made it, made it, made it, everything's fine. Everything's fine, everything's chill. Oh, there's a pipe. Oh, I guess that's how you get back out. Okay, I don't wanna take that. <laughs> that would've been bad. Down and up the spinning tower. 
on top of the spinning tower. Okay. I guess that's all we can do in here. No purple coins. I'm disappointed. Okay. Um, let's go through the pipe. Oh, and it's just going to take us right back out to the main kingdom. That's good. That's good. Okay, I want to go back to Showdown Arena. Uh, where we fought the Brutals. And check out this pipe right here. Okay. We have another puzzle room here, and... Oh, God. Oh, it disappears. Okay, so I need to bring... This is a, a Jizo puzzle room. So I need to bring a Jizo back here to stand on that switch, and that's going to be you, sir. Jaizo are not affected by the spikes, so remember that, be useful. You stay here and wait down that button, and I'm gonna go... Okay, I guess we... What does this do? Okay, so I need a Jaizo to weigh that one down. So I guess that moon is meant to be gotten later, but you can s definitely still, uh... You can still bring that one over here. It would just... It's just gonna take a bit more finesse. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So let's hop up these spike platforms. Please move, Mr. Spikes. And let me hit your right... Well... Okay, I didn't want to take a chance on falling off, so I'm just gonna kind of wait for it here. Okay, made it over here. Now, Jizo, stand on this so that I may bring your friend over here. Although first, it looks like okay, we have a heart. There's also. break these boxes, because I think I'm going to want to bring it over here more quickly. Hold on. Break that. Break that. Break that. Alright, alright, alright. So let's get Jizo and bring him over here to break this. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of floors. I think I saw something on the way down. Okay, no, we're supposed to get that on the way back up. Ah, uh, three Goombas, is that all? Uh, this is gonna create a moving platform? Yeah, okay. I need you, Jizo, so I'm not gonna leave you here. Aw, oh, dang it, almost. Come on. Hurry up. Any day. Um, do I want these? Yes, I do. I am coin hungry. More so purple coin hungry, but really can't really do anything about that just yet. All right, Jizo, let's get out of here. Uh, oh, wait, I actually need that to bring me back up. Dang it. I didn't notice that. <laughs> so going underground there, breaking that block is necessary. All right, Jizo. We're going to put you here and go ahead and take your friend here and bring him to one of these switches ah it's a wall jump meme unfortunately for the level designers I am very skilled in wall jumping and in Mario games in general so I can just do that! Jizo in the hidden room. Wouldn't really say that's a hidden room. Maybe he was talking about the thing. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's just... Let's see, what's the best way about going about this? Oh, I almost had it. No, don't land on the spikes. Ow! What is the best way of doing this? 
Mm, okay, I may have it. Definitely not. Okay. Ooh. God, almost got hit there. Uh, wow. So this second moon is a challenge, because I have to leave that one back there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, I can't get hit again. Uh, this is... Ugh. This is ugh, is what this is. This is ugh. No. Jesus Christ. What am I doing differently? Oh. Okay. Can I... Okay, backflipping was the answer all along, of course. Give me that moon. Jaizo's big adventure. I don't know why I didn't try backflipping earlier. Alright, let's get out of here. This place is annoying. <laughs> it's kind of, it's a cool little puzzle. But, uh, not the most fun thing in the world. Okay, we've reached that point. The point in every kingdom where the remainder of the moons is entirely dependent on me finding the last few purple coins. That is unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. Guess I'll be going on the hunt now. Okay, up, up, up here on the uh, showdown arena, you can jump onto this flag here and it will stop dancing and you can climb up the pole and grab the three purple coins. Not bad. And I actually see the other three from here. That is fantastic. It didn't have to look long at all for these. Awesome. Glad I was thorough when going through the kingdom the first time. Okay, whoa. I actually never came over here to this side. Didn't look. There it is! 100 purple coins. So, now we can warp back to... the souvenir shop. And use these purple coins to get the last of our moons and all the collectibles to go along with them. We don't get a lot of customers. Yeah, I'm sure you don't. Just some new Donk citizens working this one. Definitely no ogres or Jizo. <laughs> Let's talk to the yellow guy first. Uh, first, we need to get Bowser uh, shopping in Bowser's kingdom. Of course. Shopping at Bowser's castle, I mean. And I don't think there was anything else new for us to get here. No, there's no new, no new costumes or no new outfits or hats for us to get just yet. So now. 100 out of 100 purple coins. Let's do this. I'll go... Yeah, I'll go from this side. Samurai helmet. The samurai wore helmets that were functional and fancy. Take that, and I actually do want to change into it. Samurai armor. The samurai basically walked around wearing works of art. That is a good way of putting it, actually. That is a very, very apt way of... Describing that. Happy headband. This coiled headband is a is perfect when you want to cover just a bit of your head. Gladly like, take it. So we have some uh, martial art. Or, oh yeah, martial arts clothing. Uh, happy outfit. Traditional clothing designed to be easy to move around at in a festival. Okay, maybe not martial arts. I'm so sorry for anyone I've offended with my lack of cultural knowledge. <laughs> I feel really bad. <laughs> All this stuff is so interesting, but I just haven't... I, haven't, I just don't know it. Bowser's Kingdom sticker. A sticker inspired by Bowser's castle. Pretty interesting stuff there. It's one of the cooler stickers we've had so far. Paper lantern. These lanterns are found in Bowser's castle. In the old days, people used... Yeah, people used to walk around with them like flashlights. Gladly take one of these to hang up in the Odyssey. And our last 25 purple coins in Bowser's Kingdom, Jizo statue. Found place all over, these guardian deities watch over travelers in silent protection. Look how cute they are. I definitely want one for the Odyssey. Alright. That's it. 
And now that we've changed into the samurai outfit, if we go around back, what's in these boxes? Okay. Talk to this guy now. You want to get a look, see what's going on inside? You got to be dressed for battle, friend. That armor, you look like a samurai. Well, step right in. This is actually so cool. Check this out. We have an 8-bit pipe here. And... It is a fold-out. I don't know what they're called, but it's the doors that fold out. Oh, I just... Uh, I feel so bad for not knowing what everything is called. And for the first time, we actually... Look at that background. Look at the Pokio and the trees and the, and the sun and moon and everything. Oh, it's so pretty. Everything's so pretty. Ah! And for the first time, we actually have uh, moving platforms, uh, like weighted platforms in one of these 8-bit sections. Pretty interesting. And when you go through the pipe, it folds and unfolds again to show a different scenery. It's so nice. Ah! I have to make this one a quick couple jumps here. And don't want to get knocked off. Knock off? How do I have a micro dropped? <laughs> uh, jump back down and run into this pipe. And then here we have uh, a Koopa that would probably only just get in the way. Oh, I love the 8 bit music for this kingdom. For all kingdoms, but this one in particular. And last three. Awesome. Taking notes in the folding screen. And we should get one more moon from this beautiful section of 8 bit platforming. Let's grab it. I'm gonna miss this place. Okay, I guess I'll come back out of the 8-bit section. God, thank you to whoever designed that. That is just so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, what do you have to say now? That was the same thing. We are samurai now. Look at Mario. He looks so cool. Alright, now... I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, there are but two moons that we haven't gotten that we can get currently. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. Wait a minute. Huh. Um. So. I. Thought that there was. Hold on, let's go back to the Odyssey real quick. Hold on, I need to check with Hint Toad. Hint Toad has all the answers that I'm looking for. Oh! So I guess none of these moons are available until later. Wow. Hint Toad can't find any more moons for this kingdom. Okay, that means that the painting for this kingdom is unavailable. Um, up to this point. And that means that the hint art for this kingdom is also unavailable. So. I say we deposit the moons. It only needed eight more, <laughs> and we have 40. <gasps> okay, how many do we have right now? Oh god, the Odyssey is too big, can't see it anyway. Let's deposit them.
The Odyssey is complete. Bowser's not getting away. We'll chase him all the way to the Moon Kingdom. Come on! Let's save those two. 444 moons! And I don't think that this is drawn to scale. But... We can go... To the Moon Kingdom. Honestly... This took me by complete surprise on my first playthrough, and I didn't expect it at all. But, man, on a second playthrough, there's just so much foreshadowing to it. It's not something you ever expect because it's so random and out of the blue. But the power-ups are called moons. The gray blocks are hinted at, or, or even explicitly stated to be thought to be from space. The moon can be seen in every kingdom very large and up close and has been in the background the entire time and as you move through each kingdom the moon is easier and easier to see. So maybe it shouldn't be that much of a surprise. Maybe I'm not maybe I'm like the only one that was really caught off guard by this. But yeah, you can go to the moon. Next time on Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. We go to the moon. See you guys then.